Justo Jaime Offside. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. <laughs> The new study today, 28% of delivery drivers have eaten your food. I fucking knew it, dude. I never wanted to say this. How is this? Com- I mean, where, where are we finding this out? 28% of delivery drivers. Okay. Um, that they surveyed. Here's the, so, that they surveyed. Yeah, yeah, but, but here, here's the, this is pretty easy. So once I read this, I was like, ah, this could be bullshit. It could be not. Here's all I thought about, right? I drive home after work. When I pick up food for you and the kids or whatever on the way home from work, our kids eat dog shit, essentially, right? It's either French fries, mac and cheese. Kid food, all right? Kid food. Kid menu stuff. Look, I'm saying it in a positive way. I love dog shit. If I could eat fucking pizza and French fries all goddamn day, I'd be the happiest motherfucker on earth, but I know I'm putting dog shit into my body, right? You love dog and I love shit. I love take it. Take that clip. I love just it. Just take the clip of I love dog shit. I love all of that shitty, shitty food. Dude, it's shit. my favorite in this world. And here's all I kept thinking when I re- read this was, do you know how many times I've gotten uh, a, a, a kid's meal? I know he's not going to eat all the fries. Sure. Uh, like in a, in a Happy Meal. Gotcha. Dig my little nubs mm-hmm. in there and I take three mm-hmm. fries. Mm-hmm. Take three fries on the drive home for the, for the big guy, for the tip. You know what I'm saying? For the chemo, for the sabi, you know? Um, I've never used Uber Eats or Grubhub personally. I haven't either, I but could you be sit? The only one. Could you sit? Could you drive home and not stick your hand in the bag and just grab a little something for yourself? Yep. If it was my child, no. Is he going to miss three fries? If it was a customer that I'm bringing food to, yeah. No. I can hold off. I'll take this. A, I'll take this a step further. I worked at an Italian restaurant. I can't remember the name of it. When I was in like twelfth grade, right? I was a waiter, and uh, there was these huge spaghetti and meatballs plates, right? It, a lot of old people used to come in there, and they would leave half of it. Mm-hmm. Food was untouched. Sure, I popped down a meatball once a night. Yeah, I think that's pretty standard. That kind of behavior Back for sure. Once yeah, 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 I think that's kind of standard. But within this instance, I I feel like this is a little bit different. No, uh, Staples Center. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going here. Staples Center. I was a waiter in the luxury boxes. It was my first one of my first jobs in L. A. And at the Emmys, I worked. I was a waiter at the Emmys and and the Oscars. Right. I fu- I was in charge of the food. And it was Wolfgang Puck, and he was in there. And he was making it, and they would come mm-hmm. out and take a picture afterward. Mm-hmm. I took a bite of. Every third, maybe third plate, like just grabbed a little something, like a piece of asparagus, boom, popped it in there. Yeah. Standard practice. Right? Yep. Therefore, when I read so this article, this I was like. kind of the same? Yeah. Okay. When I read this article, I was like, dude, there's no way you're sitting next to amazing food, maybe stuck at a light or in traffic, and you're like, eh, I'll just pop my hand in the bag and then refold it. Who's going to know? Who's going to know? Yeah. Victimless crime. Sure. I say. Mm-hmm. 28%. So that's, you're looking at essentially almost one out of three, one out of three bags. Somebody's dipping their, their nubs in there and just grabbing a little, you know, grabbing a little thing at Staples Center. When I was the waiter, I remember you would order these, uh, wings, they had great, uh, wings, right. in the sweets, but you had to get them by like a hundred or 150 because mm-hmm. it would be 12 people, 15 people, whatever it was in the suite, mm-hmm. but they were preset. So that way, by the time the people got in there. They were already snacking and ready to eat. You know, you didn't have to wait, and it was nice. You mm-hmm. rocked in the suite. It was all laid out for you, and you're like, oh, this is great. Sure. Every, every night, I'd take three wings out of there because I was like, man, who's going to count that all 150 are there or 100 are there? Like, right. no one. I'm right. taking three wings for myself, and I would dip in the blue cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, I would eat them, and then what I would do is take a – because you know how it, it leaves a, a ring, like a little mark? Yep. I would take a spoon afterwards – and then remix it together, so that way nobody knew that I was also eating the blue cheese as well. Because you can't eat wings without blue cheese, and we all know that. 
we're ranch, not communist. But yeah, 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 eh, yeah. We're not yeah, communist yeah, ranch yeah, nation, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I would do that every single time. So reading this, dude, of of course they're doing it. Come on, man. That doesn't turn you off of like, oh man, I'm gonna have some. Sh- Shit I'm definitely, bag my I've food. never, uh, again, I've never used it. I've never really wanted to like I'll get, but we've been getting food delivered from places forever. Right. But pizzas, things like that. You can't pizzas, take a slice of pizza. Or like if you get food delivered, Chinese food. No, no. Okay. What am I get? What am what, they don't. I haven't gotten Chinese food delivered. That's the only other real delivery you know that I think of where they deliver from the restaurant. Because Asian people are better than us. That's um, true. They, you know, they, you know ways, with the Chinese just food. Just blatant disregard. Yep. You know. But Chinese food, they always staple that, that bag shut. Not, yeah, no. But you don't know. I, I, You know, you don't know if they have a, sta- a stapler in the car. Yeah, you can see Take the marks. what you want. No. Staple, staple after. Not a prayer. And then they Take wrap it up. Take what you want. There's no staple first. They wrap it up in plastic. The soups, yeah. the things. Yep. With tape. And then they mm-hmm. scotch tape it down. Yep. Just to let you know, hey, guess what? Nobody's penetrated this fucking wall. Yeah. No one, dude. Yeah. And that's, that's the China I love. Mm-hmm. Not these little fuckers out in, in Hollywood who are trying to appease to them. Yeah. All appease to, to Lucky Star down the street. All a piece to their fucking communism all goddamn day. To Rocky Star, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was racist, Javes. Um, but Again, you know. we've all agreed that making fun of Asians is the last acceptable <laughs> racism that we can have. And I'm holding on to it until I get canceled. I'm going to take this one more step further here with, with, with 28% of delivery drivers have eaten your food. If it's a dude in this life, especially North Carolina in the summer... Guess where else that hand's been? You had to pull them nuts up. In the pre- prickly heat. Yep. It's been in the prickly 100%. heat. 100%. You got to pull them nuts up. As soon as you sit in a car, in particular, if you have leather seats, right? Mm-hmm. You, you sit in that car as a, as a man, because of the humidity when you're walking outside, nuts drag, droop, and they're stuck. At some point, unless you're using GB or prickly heat, gold mm-hmm, bond, mm-hmm. or prickly heat, at some point, there is a, a centimeter of, of ball skin that is stuck to one side of the leg or, or whatever you, when you sit right before you sit in the car, you tuck it up so it doesn't get pinched to the side of your leg. Make sure the janglers are okay. The danglers down and there. You do that barehanded against the nuts or is that through the underwear? It, it, de- it depends on what I'm wearing. Cause mm-hmm. like jeans, I'm, like I'm wearing jeans right now today. Right. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. I can't, I can't physically get to that one centimeter gotcha. ball space. So you have to go in. I got to go inside and I got to, I got to check on, uh, on, on the meat, you know, on the brethren, Yeah, on the brethren. I got to check on the brethren and I pull mm-hmm. that, I pull that nut off my leg and then I go on about my day. Sure. Now, if I was delivering food, yes, I've already, I've already tugged that nut up. Right. Uh-huh. Then. That reach at the stoplight when, you know, we're at a busy intersection. And I'm like, man, I got time here. What did they get? Ah, shit. A waffle. They got waffle fries from Chick-fil-A. So you're, you're getting Grubhub, Postmates, whatever. Man, I'm going to stick my hand in that box. Just take one waffle fry. You'll never know a waffle fry is missing. Mm-hmm. Pop that in my gullet. Then my ball hand. Because mm-hmm. let's face it, 85% of people are right-handed in this world. My ball hand has then been in your box. It's been in your fry box. Wait a minute. Yep. Hush, Jamie. You no. know where I was going to go with that, huh? Yeah. Let alone. Your ball hand's been in my box. Yeah. Huh? And that's you another wish. That's another place you can take you this. You wish, friend. Jabes. What? You don't know where they were at right beforehand. Could have been boning Look, somebody brother. out, fingering somebody on a beach. Look, brother, I'm good with all of this. I'm, you had me at 28%. I got you. I get you. And I get all of this. I want to. It's for the people so, at home. I want everybody to be safe and know that there's probably a ball hand in your French fry box. 